Welcome back to Michael's Kitchen. Tonight we got chicken enchiladas. So for this recipe, if you're in luck and you happen to watch our last video, <laughs> we'll put a link there, and you happen to have rotisserie chicken that tastes as good as this one, make sure you try that one, then you can make this recipe. Or you can always go to Kroger, Walmart, <laughs> Sam's Club, Costco, and get yourself a rotisserie chicken. And that's what we have here. Two chicken breasts that we shredded up and we're gonna make our enchiladas with some red sauce, chives, sour cream, Mexican cheese blend, and tortillas. But this should be super simple and ready to go in a few seconds. To our shredded chicken breast, we're gonna add in four chives diced up. We're gonna add in half a stick of cream cheese, ideally pre-softened, that would make too much sense for me. I, that means I planned ahead, which I didn't. And then I'm gonna add one cup of the Mexican cheese. So this is two cups, so I'll put half, a, I'll put half the package in there. And then I'll add in half a can of the red enchilada sauce. And then I'll mix to combine our, all our delicious ingredients. On to our next steps, and that's simply getting our ta -da, pan and then do a little spray here, make it easier to clean up. The rest of that red sauce, well not the rest, just enough to, to line the bottom. And then start building your tortillas, your tortillas to roll up. Some filling. And similar to our taquitos video, we'll put a link here for our, our beef taquitos, which is the jack and the crack beef taquitos. Just roll these up. And place in the bottom. Rinse and repeat. And then we top off with the remaining red sauce. I have more just in case. And I'm gonna brush these. And then I'll add the last bit of cheese in our bag to the top here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, are you getting excited now? Mm -hmm. And what do we say around here? Don't be cheap. be cheap. And if you were concerned about the garlic, I already added garlic into my chicken when I did my chicken. <laughs> and we're gonna cover this and go into a 200, I'm sorry, 375 degree oven until it gets ooey and gooey. Cover. And so when we go. We'll go 20 minutes and we'll check it there. Twenty minutes are up. Time to take it out. I did uncover it to get it, let it get some color and bubble up so you guys will see that for the last minute i let it i let it sit uncovered to get some cheese some color in the cheese but that looks fantastic and the icing on the cake <laughs> some chives we're about to enjoy this Get ready to serve this and try it out and see what we're working with. I gotta admit, I've never made this. Right? 
First time. First time for everything, so don't be afraid. There's one thing you learn from our channel is don't be afraid. <laughs> smells good. It looks good. I got everything ready, just because I needed it. <laughs> so it is a little warm. And everything for you, for you friends. There's no rush. Oh, it's We're good. Not going anywhere. As good as that smells. Oh wow. I gotta say this, my good friend Jeff knows I would never order anything with shredded chicken at a Mexican restaurant because it's bland, no flavor. This is, everything, this is just straight fire. It really is delicious. Cheese is gooey gooey. This is a winner, a winner. If you like this video, like the video. Comment down below if there's anything you want us to try or make like this and subscribe for more. That said, I'll wait there for. She's dying to come over here and taste, <laughs> but it ain't happening anytime soon. <laughs> Bye, people. Oh, está bueno. Está caliente, ahora voy a que se enfríe.